many thanks for joining us here tonight. Uh, I'm saying tonight, but it might be the morning, might be the middle of the day for you wherever you are. We've seen all the countries and cities represented. So appreciate you joining us and spending the next hour with us here. Um, my name is Uri and I'm the head of product at Slido. And today I'll be guiding you through this next hour of updates and announcements from our team. Last time we met here was actually May, four months ago. And there was a lot of uncertainty as for when things are going back to normal again. And today, whether you're planning to return to the office, continue to work from home, or some sort of combination of both, we can all agree that the way we work is being challenged. So we have a big appreciation of all of you who are navigating these challenges, running businesses from your kitchen, schooling your kids while working from home, or keeping your pets entertained while on Zoom calls. And for those of you who are here with us in May, uh, you would have noticed this is my dog still. So, but very importantly, we are grateful that the number of our customers, number of you continues to grow um, and that we can be here for you as we navigate the new normal. So let's briefly take a look at what we will cover today. First, we'll take a look at Slido's new chapter. Um, you'll hear more about the new tools we're building for interactive presentations and meetings. And you'll be the first to hear about the biggest product release in years. Now, these events are really important for us because we want to get your candid feedback on what is it that we could be doing better. So this won't be your typical passive event. We want to engage in a conversation with you and please use this opportunity uh, to do so. You can submit and upload question, questions on the right-hand side uh, in the slider panel. Uh, you can post them with your name or anonymously and then upload questions from others as well. Uh, that's where you'll be able to engage with all the polls that we have prepared and other interactions too. Um, for the best experience on desktop, you can double click on the video on the left hand side uh, to go full screen. So those are just a few tips to get started. Now, before we get started, um, we have two questions for you because we also want to get to know you better, get to know who's here with us. Uh, we know that you're coming from all over the world, but uh, we would also love to know specifically when it comes to Slido, what types of meetings do you usually use Slido for? So we have a few options here for you. Uh, the poll should be activated on the right hand side. Um, please let us know, is it the smaller meetings up to 20 people, 50 people, or is it the, the big uh, conferences, all hands, bigger meetings, um, 100 people or more, maybe even over 500. Um, I can see that that's 12% of you there. Um, the, the, the winning option so far is up to 20 people, which is interesting. Um, and I have with me um, our co-founder and CEO, Peter. Uh, so Peter, thanks again for joining us here as well. Um, you surprised with these results so far? Uh, actually, seeing... actually, yes, like up to 20 people. That hasn't been our main use case uh, until recently, but yes, with COVID, we have definitely seen, seen a bigger increase in uh, with smaller meetings. So that's great to see the very different kind of composition, very equal percentages across all, all the mm. sizes of the audience. Very interesting indeed. Um, awesome, thank you so much for, for letting us know this. And secondly, we wanna ask, you know, what is your typical slider use case or use cases for that matter? Uh, really curious to, to see what, what are all the ways that you've been uh, using slider for. I can see Q&A, trainings, all hands meetings, team meeting quizzes, uh, town halls, trainings, management Q&A. Those are all some of, the, some of the use cases that we use slider for regularly here at Slido. It's great to see training, taking the lead, seeing webinars, yeah, a lot of lot of very very diverse diverse use cases. So again, very very interesting to see so many uh, people joining from so many different kind of fields and using Slido in so many different ways. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, share some interesting news for you uh, today for all of you. For sure. Um, and while you're voting, I'll, I'll also will you'll meet everyone else who's on the call with us. But we have um, the rest of the product team here with us joining from from various places. Uh, who'll be demoing to you. So. We'll get to meet everyone, but uh, I think now we can get started. Um, we're we're very excited today to to show you all the things that we've been working on. But before we get into all of that, um, I would like to actually turn it to Peter, uh, our co-founder and CEO, uh, to share some more about this new chapter that we're opening. Peter, thank you. Right, and let me <clears throat> let me just kind of get started with the slides here. So. Thank you, Ryan, and welcome everyone uh, again. Uh, this event is very special for us, and it's special for several reasons. 
first of all, it's our biggest event uh, so far. We had more than 3,000 registered participants, and already we've seen like there are hundreds of you here. Hopefully, we'll cross 1,000 uh, very soon. So this is this is a big milestone for us. And again, I want to say big big thank you for everyone for joining us today, and we are very excited to have you here with us. The second reason is that just two weeks ago, we actually celebrated a millionth event uh, with Slido and. The 1 million events has for a long time been a very special milestone for us in Slido. And we've been aiming to achieve this milestone for, for several years and we're very thrilled and excited to finally meet the milestone and, uh, and celebrate this with you uh, today. So again, I want to say a huge thank you from 150 of us for all your trust and support uh, along the way. And, uh, and we're kind of incredibly thankful for your feedback, uh, guidance uh, and, and, and help uh, on, on this journey so far. But there is actually one more reason why this event is very special. And I have been looking forward to this moment for a really long time. And that is because we are ready to start moving to the next chapter of the, of the Slido journey. And uh, today we will actually unveil some of the most important program, product announcements in the several years uh, of Slido. But before we go into that, I want to take a quick step back and briefly walk you through our journey so far. So when we started Slido eight years ago at a startup weekend uh, in Bratislava, we had no idea what lies ahead of us. And, and I have to say it was, it was very surprising, uh, very challenging, but very, very rewarding. But one thing that didn't change that has always been the same was our vision to transform how meetings and events are run around the world by enabling a dialogue between the presenters and the participants. And uh, you know, when looking at our, at our journey, we first started in the world of conferences. And over the years, we helped to change how Q&A sessions were run at, at, around the world at those conferences. If you just remember how terrible Q&A was before, uh, all those years ago, those kind of rowing mics running around the room or those awkward silences uh, you know, after a session, anyone has a question? No, okay, well, let's move on. Or even worse of all for me, actually, those obnoxious self-promoting comments, kind of these guys, there's a question, right? Terrible. But with Slido, sometimes those Q&A sessions actually became the highlights of those conferences. And finally, even the introverts had a chance to ask their questions. So over the years, tens of thousands of conferences adopted Slido to give the voice to their participants. And we were incredibly honored to work with some of the best conferences in the world, like South by Southwest, Saster, Mobile World Congress, Web Summit, and many, many others. Next, we helped to change all hands meetings in companies over those years. By giving voice to employees, we helped leaders to create a, a more open and transparent dialogue with their employees. And in some cases, even help to change the culture in those com companies by creating the dialogue. For the first time, employees had a safe way to ask their leaders their questions. And finally, the leaders could understand what their people really thought and, and cared about. And uh, again, like over the years, we're incredibly grateful to work with some amazing companies and not just work with, but also learn from some amazing uh, customers and companies that help us on this, on this journey. Uh, and, uh, and you know, shape, shape how Slido product evolved. But to truly achieve our vision, we always knew that we will help, we will need to help also the smaller meetings, those millions of individual presenters, team leaders, trainers, project managers, to make their meetings more engaging and, 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 and better for their participants. Um, and, you know, like, especially in this, virtual times when most of us are working remotely and meeting remotely, the need for engagement, the need for dialogue has increased more than ever. And even like big part of the growth that Yura was showing at the beginning uh, was already coming from those smaller meeting use cases. But to be completely honest with you, we were not fully ready uh, for this shift uh, yet when COVID arrived. And especially in the virtual setting, when you're a presenter, handling all those tools at the same time, it's not exactly easy, right? And we understood, we knew that if we truly want to enable those meetings to be great and to truly empower those meetings to have great dialogue and engagement with their participants, we'll need to become a seamless part of the meeting experience, both for the presenters as well as for the participants. On the presenter side, we knew that we have to make it so ridiculously easy and straightforward to add interactions to your slides that you will just 
not even think about it. You will just do it because it's, it's just so easy. And on the participant side, we knew that to really get people involved, to get the dialogue going, the interaction has to be just a click away. And we already started on this journey last year when we released our integration with Google Slides. And as you can see, currently with the integration, you can have Slido in a very simple sidebar within your presentation. And in a few clicks, you can add the interactions to your slides directly. And as you can see, even today, we are using the integration with Google Slides and it's completely seamlessly integrated into the flow. So making it very easy for us presenters not to think about anything, just to go focus on our story and go through our, our flow. And the response uh, on the Google Slides integration has been amazing. And you can see the growth has been incredibly strong, uh, especially after the beginning of this year. And the feedback has been very positive. And currently the Google Slides add-on is one of the highest rated add-ons in the whole Google Slides uh, store. But, and here we go. This was just the first step. And today we are incredibly thrilled and excited to actually unveil three new amazing integrations that will help you take your meetings to the next level. So with that, uh, I, again, I'm very, very happy and very thankful, grateful that you joined us today. And I would like to give the word back to you, Ray. Awesome, thanks, Peter. So as you can see, it's a, it's a big day, evening, morning, I don't know, but we're very excited to show you the three announcements and three updates that we have for you. Um, and let's get to the first one. So, you know, as, as Peter was mentioning, with our Google Slides integration, presenters can now very easily add interaction right as they're working on their slides. But even at our product event in May, a lot of you Google users ask for an integration with Google Meet. It makes sense, right? With all the meetings happening over video these days, we wanted to take this further and tie the whole experience together. So today, we're excited to announce Slido for Google Meet. And together with our slides integration, one seamless experience for both the presenters and participants. So for the first demo, I'd like to welcome Mario joining us from the HQ in Slovakia. Mario, take it away. Hi everyone, Mario from Slido here. So uh, as you mentioned, for the past couple of weeks, uh, we've been working hard on building our new integration with Google Meet uh, that many of you requested before. Uh, today, I'm excited to show you what this integration and the experience would look like for people running the meeting, as well as those joining as participants. So to start with, the whole integration is brought to you through our Slido Chrome extension, which, as you can see, I have installed here. Thanks to this extension, if I start a new call now, the whole Slido experience becomes available directly in the Google Meet. So here we go. Once you are inside a call as a presenter and you would like to use Slido during your meeting, it's enough to click the green Slido icon here in the top right corner, which gives you two options you can choose from. Uh, the first option is uh, to choose any of your already existing events that you created before, or you can also start a new Slido completely from scratch. So let's start a brand new Slido. And here we are landing directly in the admin within the Google Meet. What you can do from here is that you can moderate and administer questions. This meaning highlighting questions, archiving questions, dismissing approving questions as they are coming in, as you can see here. But you can also administer polls from here, surveys or quizzes. And to show you how simple that is, let me just create a poll on the fly. And I would like to know how did people like my today's presentation? We can go with six stars. And now I just hit launch. And the poll goes live right away and I can get an instant feedback from my audience. You can of course also prepare all the polls ahead of time and then just activate and deactivate them as necessary to make it even more smooth. So this is the admin experience to give you full control of your Slido directly in the Google Meet. But what might be even more exciting is that we bring the same experience also to your audience. What this means is that everyone who's on the call with you and has the Slido extension installed will be able to interact with Slido directly from Google Meet as well. To demonstrate this, I will switch to the participant mode here. And this is exactly what people joining the call as participants will be able to see. 
So do not worry, this part up here is only visible to admins, people running the call. Everyone else who's joining will only see the part down here, starting from the blue box all the way down. From here, people can vote in any of the already running polls, also see results of others, but they can also interact through the Q&A, meaning they can submit their own question, either anonymously or with a name, completely up to you, as well as see questions of other people and upvote this, the ones they like the most. All these without leaving the Google Meet interface, as simple as that, no secondary devices needed, no switching between tabs, everything sits right here in Google Meet to make the whole experience clean and smooth for everyone. And with this, I'll give the word back to you, Rai, and open up the floor for your questions. Thank you. Thanks, Mario. Um, let me just get the screen back on. And we can take two or three questions. I'm seeing a lot of questions related to uh, all sorts of different topics. And I'm gonna try and pick a few uh, related to Google Meet, but just to get us started maybe, can you talk about how do the participants install, install the integration? Yes, definitely. Actually, very good question. Uh, so there will be different ways of how you can go about it. Uh, in an ideal world, you might share the link with them directly uh, in the invite before the meeting. So if people come to the call, they do have the integration already installed. So it's very smooth for them. Uh, there is also domain installation available, meaning that the IT team within the company can with one push install this integration, this extension to everyone on the domain as well as what we also did is we implemented automated message uh, that once you start Slido on the call, Google Meet chat uh, will get the message from Slido through which people can get this, uh, this extension easily installed and downloaded on the spot within seconds. Awesome, thank you. And just to maybe with this also answer Isabella's question uh, shortly, does everyone need this Slido extension to use the new Google Meet feature? Uh, that's correct, Isabella. Uh, everyone who would like to have Slido directly within Google Meet call would need to have the extension installed. Admins, as well as people joining the call. But only once, the very first time, then every single time they come back to the Google Meet, the extension will be already installed, meaning they would be able to use Slido very easily. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Mario. Um, Thank you, too. I think we'll leave with that, and we can answer more questions um, later with the Q&A. Um, all right, and, and just to sum up, so as, as Mario was saying, you can request access, to, uh, request access to private beta from event settings today, uh, which we'll be also sharing in the, in the post event follow up. So we'd love to get your feedback early on and build this with you as it will be available in private beta to start with. Now that was Google, uh, but a big portion of our customers are Microsoft users naturally. And uh, oops, I, I skipped my slides, but that's okay. Um, and naturally we can't talk about the future of presentations without mentioning PowerPoint. Yeah, you may have already heard the statistics from a few years ago that 30 million PowerPoint presentations are created daily. So it's not a surprise that an integration with PowerPoint has been our most requested and awaited feature for a long time. Today, I'm super excited to invite Martin joining us from London, who together with his team have been hard at work building the best PowerPoint integration you'll see. Martin, over to you. Thanks, Hirai. Um, so thank you everyone for joining us today and welcome uh, to, this, to this meeting. Um, I'm sharing my screen right now. I hope you can see it. Let me just minimize your, uh, the faces of the other guys on the call. Good. Uh, so four months ago, we introduced a very first version of the PowerPoint integration. Um, however, we've made a tremendous progress since then. And I'm really proud uh, to show you um, the, the more stable, um, the faster and truly integrated version of Slido for PowerPoint, um, which means Slido now lives in PowerPoint, um, which is which is a great thing. And you'll see that in a few seconds. Um, but let's start from the beginning. So this is where you will be able to get the latest integration. So you will be able to request a link and we'll send it to you and you will be able to start using it um, basically uh, from tomorrow or from next week, quite early. Uh, once you download this application to your computer and you install it, you will get something like this on your home screen. So let's launch that. Uh, and this will start a notification like this one. So Slido now told me that I'm all ready. So I can go to PowerPoint, which is what I'm going to do right now. 
And let me close this. I don't need this anymore. Good. And uh, this is my presentation. Now, what you can see in the top right corner under the home tab is your very own Slido button. So this is where the magic happens. So let's wait, let's click it. Let's see what happens. When I click it, uh, it opens a sidebar. So you might be familiar with this one already. I know there are some people who've used this before or a version of this. And I know this looks exactly like Google Slides, which is, which is true. So PowerPoint now has its own Slido sidebar. Um, so let's try out a few things here. All right. So I'm going to create my first polling question. So I'm going to click add a live poll. So this is my interaction panel, if you will. And I'm going to select multiple choice. So that's the first option. I'll click that. And let's do a quick question. How was your morning today? It's okay. More coffee. Oh, that's double F. Uh, I'm still asleep. Uh, I'm an early bird. Good. I'm going to click save now. There we go. And on the left hand side, you can see that the new poll question is added uh, to my presentation. Let's give it a few seconds. There we go. So my question is now added to the slideshow. Now, the biggest, the biggest thing of this is that once you start presenting, the question will activate for your audience and it, you will see the live results on your screen. Okay, so let me say it again because it's very important. So once you get to this slide, the question will open for the audience and you will see the live results come up on the screen without switching uh, off apps. And you'll see the magic of it in a, in a quick second. So let's do one more question after this slide. I want to ask you about um, what Windows version are you using? Windows 7, I'm sure there are some people like that. Um, Windows 8.1, there should be a few of those. And finally, Windows 10, I know some of you use Mac, so let's do that. I don't have Windows. Good, again, I'm going to click Save which will add a question to my slideshow again, another question on the fourth position, which is great. And also I wanna take a few questions from you guys, uh, perhaps before I end my demo. So I'm going to click the button here, which says add a Q&A slide. So people can send questions throughout the session, obviously. And once they reach the slide or once the presenter gets on this slide, uh, they will all be able to see, uh, the presenter will be able to see the questions appear on this particular slide. Good, so I'm all set, so let's try it out. So this is my presentation, it's show time, and I'm going to start presenting with Slido. Good, so this is my first slide, my very, very first slide. So um, we're introducing Slido for PowerPoint. And now when I click next on my keyboard, the poll question is already there and you should be able to see it on your devices. So let's wait um, for you guys to send a few votes. Good, 39 votes. Very good. I agree. Uh, it's late afternoon here in the UK, but I'd love some coffee. I haven't had any since early morning. Good. It's okay. Good. Good. Wonderful. Thank you guys for sending in those votes. Uh, there are not that many early birds. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed, but don't worry. Um, good. Let's go next to the next slide. Um, you saw that, right? So the poll activated automatically. I didn't have to do anything. I just clicked next on my keyboard. And you can do this thing with all these types of polls. So you can use it in different situations and use cases. For example, you can check for understanding with your audience using the rating poll, or you can use a quiz uh, for your Friday meeting tomorrow. Uh, that's a quick tip there uh, to do a quick trivia quiz with your colleagues uh, in a small meeting. Uh, but basically all of this is available now um, uh, with this integration. Good, my next question, if you remember, was about Windows. So let's check it out. Let's see what you guys use or what you are using right now. So is it Windows 7, 8.1, Windows 10, or you don't have Windows? Good, as I expected. And again, I'll, I'll just say it again because I love this bit. Uh, so I clicked, I pressed next on my keyboard and the poll just showed up. I didn't have to do a thing. I was not switching any apps. I just used one finger uh, on my hand. Uh, but there are some Mac users I can see there, perhaps Linux, first, but I think those are Mac users and very few people with Windows 7 and uh, 8.1. So that's that, that's good. So uh, right now, this integration is uh, works only on Windows. Uh, that's the current state. So it supports uh, Windows 7 and later versions, and it works on Microsoft PowerPoint 2013 and later versions. Uh, Good, uh, so that's it for this part. So let me open the q and I'm going to 
look at the questions here. Perhaps I'll find something which is uh, uh, which is related to uh, PowerPoint, and I've got some here. Wonderful. When will the PowerPoint uh, integration go out of beta? We have a very provisional timeline. Um, we're hoping um, that it can go out very soon, but we still have to work on a few things. So I can't give you an exact date, but we'll be sure to keep you posted. Um, and we'll be in touch with everyone uh, for sure. Uh, so thanks for the question, Jason. Uh, the second question, is there a timeline for uh, a Mac uh, PowerPoint integration? Uh, not at the moment, uh, thanks for the question, Mark. Um, I, I love Mac, I'm a Mac user myself. However, we don't have a timeline for that or roadmap. Uh, we know, and I saw it myself right now on the screen, that there are some very excited uh, sorry, Mac users. Uh, so I hope we'll be spending time on that in the future, but we don't have an exact plan yet. Uh, but thanks for the question. Good, and we'll we'll address the rest of the questions, I guess, uh, uh, at the end of the at the end of the event. So thank you. Uh, back to you, Rai. Thanks, Martin. Great demo. Uh, definitely excited to to see how users um, get this into their hands. And as you said, uh, we've been working on this for a long time. So you know, it's it's big news for us, uh, and we can't wait to get it out to all of you. Uh, we'll be starting to roll out the access this week. And as a small thank you for all of you who are here with us today, you will actually receive a link to download the integration in your inbox over the next few days. So that's a little gift for uh, being here with us live. Um, all right, let's move on. Um, just get my slides. All right, so just as you saw with Google Slides and Google Meet is not just about a presentation. and for all of you Microsoft team users, we have one more exciting announcement to make. And to make, to make it, please welcome Martin to the virtual stage. Thanks, Uri. Um, hey everyone, Martin here. I'm part of the team that's um, integrating Slido with virtual meeting tools. And over the past six months, we've seen such a fast adoption of Teams also among our customers. And even the questions we are getting now, um, is, it's good validation for us that it's finally time to <clears throat> build a new app for Microsoft Teams. So I'm, today I'm excited to introduce a brand new Slido for Teams app that you will be able, that will allow you to use our Q&A polling and quizzes directly in your Teams meeting. We are super grateful to be one of the launch partners of the platform that's going to be available in late October. So now let me walk you through how it actually looks. When you join a Microsoft Teams meeting, um, you will see that there's a little Slido icon which opens up a sidebar with a familiar. This is where all the attendees can ask questions, upload the questions they already see. Or whenever there is a poll active, they can um, submit their vote directly in the Teams meeting window. So same as with our integration with Google Meet, everything is happening in one place, in this case, the Teams meeting. And this is the key benefit of the integration. And the attendees, as well as the presenters, only need to join the Teams meeting. There is no need to take out your phone or switch between devices or between tabs. You only have to join the Teams meeting, being that one window to interact with the presenters. So now let me walk you through how to set it up. It takes a couple of steps to add Slido into your Teams meeting. Let me share my screen again, or hopefully. Perfect. So now you should see the configuration page where you are scheduling your Teams meeting. Um, here, I already have my meeting prepared. And with the click on the plus button, I can add Slido app. I can, I can create an event, I can create a new event or choose from existing ones and now everything is done. So it's as simple as you just saw. It takes just a couple of clicks to add Slido interaction into your Teams meeting. And once I hit save, the familiar Slido admin appears in the Teams calendar invite. In this view, um, as always, you can add your live polls you can um, moderate the questions that are that you are collecting in advance, and once you start a meeting, same as with the attendees, you will see the admin view 
um, on the right in the sidebar. And this is where you can manage the questions. So as soon as you, whenever you're moderating questions, as soon as you have some that are incoming, you can decide to approve or dismiss them. And if you have any polls, you can just activate them directly from here. The beautiful thing about this setup is that participants don't need to add anything. Everything is taken care of by the organizers. So super seamless. Um, just to summarize, the new Slido for Teams app brings interaction directly in your Teams meetings. You'll be able to get Slido for Teams app by end of this month, so by end of October, directly from the Teams app marketplace. And before that, feel free to join our waitlist. The whole team is super excited for you to give it a try. That's it from me. Back to you, Ryan. Thanks, Martin, and, and great job to, to you and the team. This is also a very exciting announcement, of course, uh, especially since we can be part of the, the launch with Microsoft. So before we let you go, a few questions from the audience. Um, there's been a lot of questions, and you can see the top one. Can there be a Microsoft Teams integration, which I let's say that's been answered by this demo, hopefully. So, but thanks, Erika, and everyone uh, post for posting these. Let's take uh, this one from Anonymous. Are there plans for an integration with Microsoft Teams? Um, oh, sorry, that's not the one I wanted. Um, there was a question. Let me just scroll through this. Let, yes, let's take a question from Sonia. Does this, this integration work with Teams Live Events too? So at the moment or towards the end of the month, as soon as it's live, it only supports Teams meetings. Um, but I know that Microsoft has support for Teams Live events as well. So eventually it will come. Um, cannot give you exact timeline, but um, it will be um, supported in the future as well. Got it. Awesome. And a question from Camille, what is Slido differentiator uh, for Q&A versus using the Q&A on Teams specifically, or maybe you can touch on WebEx or Zoom? Yeah, sure. So when it comes to q and I guess a couple of things. Um, first, the whole user experience when it comes to moderation, it's just much easier when you are getting all those questions to sort through them. And then, especially with your, let's say, all hands meetings um, or larger events, whenever you are getting, um, whenever you want to crowdsource, collect questions in advance, um, it is possible only with Slido. So with these integrations, we are hoping to, to bring more powerful Q&A, as well as polling into, into Microsoft Teams. Thank you. And uh, one last one for now, at least. All participants need to have Slido installed in their teams or just the organizer? So in this case, it's just the organizer. So that makes things, um, I guess, a little bit easier. So only the organizers, whenever they're scheduling their meeting, they're adding um, the, the Slido app into it, and all the attendees have it as a sidebar. Cool, awesome. Thanks, Martin. Thank you. Um, and just to summarize again, one more time, this is coming to Microsoft Teams uh, late October, 2020. And we'd love to have you uh, join the waitlist in the meantime. And again, share your feedback with us so that the team can build this with that in mind. But we have more to come, but let's sum up for now. Um, so what we've seen today so far is that whether you are a G Suite or Office 365 user, Slido is now your ultimate partner to bring engagement to your presentations and virtual meetings. Um, but it's important to say that we're just getting started. With the integrations we announced today, we're bringing Slido closer to where you work, but there's more, there's more we can do. And that's where we need your feedback. So this is now turning again to you with one question. What other integrations should we build? What is a, another key integration that you're missing in your workflow? We're seeing Zoom, um, we're seeing still Zoom, uh, Mac PowerPoint, Google Meet. Well, hopefully uh, you'll, you'll catch up with the, with, the, with the integrations there. Teams Web, Outlook, let me see, GoToMeeting, Wirecast. I'm seeing Pornhub, thanks for that one. Uh, Teams Live Events, uh, WebEx, Awesome. Well, Zoom, WebEx, um, Zoom is for sure winning there. Zoom definitely kept us going as well during this pandemic and many other companies. Um, and this is great input again. So thank you for that. And a lot of these are on our roadmap and we'll be sharing more about those um, soon, I hope. So thanks for this one. Um, this also brings us to one last thing before we turn to the Q&A and that is Slido community. Now, 
all the things that we want to build, all the future Slido features that we want to build, we want to build them with you. Um, so Slido community is a new thing that will be launching and we are introducing today. This will be a space for you to connect with other customers, space for you to share best practices, and also a space for you to give, team, uh, give our team your feedback and connect with them. So to join, uh, simply go to community.slido.com where you'll be able to create an account and join the conversation. And this will come again in the follow-up email as well. Now we have enough time. So let's turn to the Q and A uh, since there's so many questions and I'll have to kind of spread them um, across the product team. So let's, uh, let's take the top voted question first from Josh. I love this layout that we're seeing with the presentation, presenter and the polls all together are using OBS in the background to create this. Uh, Martin, do you perhaps want to answer this one? Sure. So in this case, we are using our uh, Zoom webinar integration, which allows you to add Zoom webinar embedded into a Slido event. So this way you have everything together, as you said, um, and it uh, has been available for, for a while. Cool. And just to add, as, as Peter was saying in the beginning as well, um, the other part is the Google Slides integration, uh, which would work the same as, as PowerPoint. And that's how we get the polls there uh, integrated too. Um, there's a question from, from, from Marty, which is also asking about Zoom meetings uh, as opposed to just Zoom webinars. Uh, we'll, we'll be, this is definitely something they will love to do and we'll hopefully share more soon on that as well. Um, with you, oh, let me just get rid of this one. Um, Will you be adding pie chart as an option for presenting the results of live polls? Um, good question. Thank you for this one as well. This is currently not in the plans, but we do realize that there might be some new poll types that we'll need to um, explore and build in the future. So definitely keep this feedback coming and this will be a, a great place for when, with the community as well to share all the different use cases. Can you activate multiple polls at once? Martin, the Martin in London, do you want to answer this one? Um, there, thanks for the question. There, there is a way to do that. Um, it's called a survey feature, which allows you to group multiple polls into a single go. And once you activate that, people will see both questions at the same time. And then you can go in your Google Slides or in PowerPoint through both uh, the results of both questions uh, quite easily. Uh, so that's one way to do it. Thanks, Martin. Uh, the next question, could you allow teams for quizzes? So assign people to teams and have com competitions. Um, this is also not planned currently, uh, if I understand the question correctly. Uh, for now, it's, it's really kind of you as a presenter preparing the quiz and then having whole, your audience join individually. But uh, keep the feedback coming. We want to build in the future. Um, let's, let's switch to data briefly. Um, Alex is asking whether we'll be creating a dashboard for Slider Analytics as opposed to just an exportable report. Uh, Mario, do you want to take this one? Yeah, sure. Um, so when it comes to analytics, that's something that's actually already available also directly in your Slido admin. Uh, and what we've uh, added recently is, for example, question sentiment. So uh, definitely something that we're also working on and we are trying to improve. So uh, uh, stay tuned for some new uh, new uh, updates coming also here. Awesome. Uh, Anonymous is asking, when setting up breakout rooms, for example, in Zoom, can we conduct polls that appear in all of the breakout rooms in a broadcast format? Um, would anyone like to ask, take this question? So I, I can take this. Um, as far as I know, the, the breakout rooms are only available with Zoom meetings. So at the moment, this is not possible. Um, I would say uh, as soon as we are able to do some sort of integration with Zoom meetings in the future, um, this is definitely a feature we'll keep in mind as we've been hearing about it for a while. Got it. Uh, Martin in London, um, Shay is asking, will we be able to integrate Slido into our PowerPoint for live results? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I, I hope I'm going to answer the question because I'm not sure I get it quite right. But um, yes, this will be available and you will be able to download this integration after the, after the event, we will send an email and you will be able to do exactly what I did uh, on my computer. So the answer is yes. Hope that helps. <laughs> cool. 
Um, I'll just break to answer Autumn's question because I've seen this a few times. Yes, the recording will be available uh, with all of you and we'll share it post meeting also with a summary of what we announced. So you can revisit that. Michael is asking, can I brand this? Um, I'm assuming that's Slado's presentation view. The short answer is yes. Uh, there's, there's a few customization options in your admin, whether it comes to colors or even themes that you have available in your settings. This will vary based on the, the package that you're using, but uh, it's definitely possible. Now, uh, Camille is asking a tougher question. How can we control aggressive questions or comments? Uh, Mario, you're smiling, so I'm going to throw it at you. Hopefully, that's the reason why you're smiling. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, Camille, the best way is uh, to allow our moderation feature uh, through which you can actually pre screen all the questions that are coming. So, uh, you can have a look at what are the questions and you can only approve the relevant, the good ones, the ones that you would like other people to see. Um, by default, we also do have a profanity filter allowed. So, if there is any profanity word, these questions are filtered out automatically for you. All right, thanks, Mario. Um, Jay saying that slide of t-shirt looks slick. I think that's for you, Peter. Uh, what are you sending us one? So Jay and anyone interested, um, I don't know, send us a note at support at slide.com and we'll see what we can do. Um, we have some t-shirts. Uh, Dan Bosman is asking, can you support Cisco WebEx as well as Zoom? Martin, short answer. Um, I guess I have a long answer. So when it comes to Zoom, only Zoom webinars and when it comes to Cisco WebEx, um, not really. There is a way which we consider to be very experimental way, how you can add um, Slido into, into um, WebEx meetings. And you can find some information on the help center, but at the same time, as I said, it's, uh, I wouldn't call it stable. Um, we are definitely um, looking into a way how to integrate with WebEx in the future. Thank you. Now, Mario, turning to you with Google Meet, David has a um, good question. Google has already announced its own extension for Meet with Q&M polling, uh, with no Chrome extension involved, direct integration Meet. Aren't you worried? Uh, very good point, David. Uh, and to give you a completely honest answer, yes, that definitely uh, might be a competition, but we haven't seen the Q&A or polls yet. So uh, we'll wait for what Google will come with, and then we can actually have a look. Thank you. Um, Vimal is asking, how about GeoMap showing locations of people who have joined the meeting and event? Uh, this is not currently available in our analytics dashboard, um, but thanks for sending it as a, as a feedback request. I think when it comes to Jason's questions, we, um, we sort of answered that before Martin answered that, that this is the interface for, of our Zoom webinar integration that we're using. It kind of allows you to, to bring Zoom webinar next to Slido, and we're using Google Slides integration on top of that that we're sh screen sharing too. Um, oh, there's a comment from Sabina, uh, which we can take as well. Thank you so much for organizing the session. Slido is the best. Thank you, Sabina. You're the best. We appreciate you being here. Um, so Is is asking when the integration for Google Meet will be implemented. So Mario, maybe just a quick reminder there. Mm -hmm. So we are already rolling out the private beta. And in the follow-up email that you're going to get after this event, you will have a chance to subscribe to the waitlist. And if everything goes according to the plan, uh, we would like to have it publicly out towards the end of this month or early November. Awesome. Um, again, a quick question that, that popped up. Is there a free trial? Yes. Um, we have a basic plan that you can use free forever. So definitely uh, try it out. If you haven't tried Slido yet, go to slido.com, sign up, and uh, you can get going from there. Um, Heidi is asking, where is our largest customer base? Which country? Uh, Martin, since you're normally based in that country, how about you answer that? Oh, US, is that me? <laughs> That's you. <Sorry. laughs> you are there as well. <laughs> I know. Um, that hopefully answers. is, so US is our largest, where we have our largest market, uh, but we're, we're grateful to have kind of customers spread across all the world. Um, but yes, hopefully that answers that, Heidi. Um, are there fees to install the extension, Mario? Uh, no, the extension is completely free for all of our users, uh, meaning also for the basic packages. Got it. Um, Anonymous is excited for the Teams integration, so um, that's hopefully a good motivation for the team to keep building on that. Um, Alexis is asking a question about quizzes. So will you be enabling BuzzFeed style quiz feature that will enable to, people to be assigned to something after taking a quiz? Um, 
I can quickly take that. That's again currently not in the plan. Uh, the way we look at the quiz feature, um, it's it's being powerful when used to kind of complete some sort of a business objective. So we use it regularly for our all hands when Peter would present business results and numbers and do it in a form of quiz, which makes it more memorable. We're not really uh, investing and focusing um, into the experience that would kind of gamify it um, in, in this way. Uh, the next question is from Candy, when will chat be enabled? Martin, any thoughts on that? Yeah, so we've been pretty busy with the integrations and once they are, let's say, stable and ready to be uh, released for general public, we will take a look at a chat. So it's been a, in, a, in this experiment mode for, for people to try and they receive some pretty good feedback. So um, we have to take uh, a look at that and uh, we'll definitely keep you posted. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Jody is asking whether we're presenting through Slido or Zoom. Um, so we are using Zoom webinar for this meeting uh, to which we're screen sharing our Google Slides presentation, which has all the Slido interactions um, embedded into it. So we just kind of, we're just keep, uh, clicking through the slides and then it's all embedded um, into Slido with our Zoom webinar integration. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the flow. Um, let me see, I haven't asked anything, the Martin in London for a while. Let me see if there's any questions around PowerPoint. Real quick, if you have any, um, send them through. Or Martin, if you, if you saw something you would like to answer. No, no. No, you're good. I see anything. Just it must have it. been clear that. <laughs> what is the difference between Slido and Slido Switcher on my desktop? Yes, uh, Martin, do you want to take this one? So what is the difference between Slido and Slido Switcher? Uh, sure. So S Slido, uh, thanks, Caitlin. Let me just read the question uh, slide, slide on my desktop. Right. So the, the, the application that I have allows you to uh, create a sequence of polls in PowerPoint. So you just add poll questions directly to your slides. And as you're presenting, the questions come up automatically. You don't have to do anything. If you have Switcher, uh, you have to activate polls manually. And then Slido comes on the screen wherever you want, uh, whenever you want, sorry. So once you hit the button, Slido comes up. When you deactivate the poll, Slido goes away. So you're in full control. And again, versus PowerPoint, it's a sequence of polls that just come up on the screen as you present. So that's the main difference. Hope, hope that helps. Awesome. Thanks, Martin. Uh, there was a question here. Um, let's bring it up here real quick. This is for, for Martin in the US. I I yes. Uh, will Teams integration work for events with SSO? Yes, yes, it will. Um, it's a big focus of ours and the team has done a really good job um, with implementing SSO. So both for the administrators, organizers, as well as the attendees, we want to make it super, super seamless to, to join a meeting, um, even if you are um, under SSO. Awesome. Speaking of SSO, we can go to security. Um, this is a very general question, but I can tell you that what we do in terms of security is uh, regular penetration tests. That's one thing. We're also ISO certified, and also what Martin was saying uh, with single sign-on. Uh, those are all your options with the enterprise security. If you have any specific questions, definitely um, keep sending those too. Will there be a wide label feature? Um, Barry, the quick answer is no. There's a few ways to, to customize Slido, as I mentioned, but uh, there isn't a wide label solution. Um, let me see. Caitlin is asking, will you be improving the quiz feature if you display an image with a question? It doesn't display the options. I would also love to see images as options. Um, Martin London, this one for you. Or actually Mario, you've been working more closely with this. Yeah, I think I can actually take this one. Uh, so yeah, Caitlin, as we've mentioned a few times already before, uh, we'd love to continue improving the quiz feature. Uh, and having images as, as options might be actually one of the first things uh, we'll implement if we uh, find some time for this. So please just keep uh, this feedback coming. Um, the more requests as this one are coming, the more uh, it goes to the top in the list. So uh, we are actually trying to always build what our customers are requesting the most. Got it, thanks Mario. Um, I'm gonna bring a question for Martin London, which I kind of wanted to do. This is from Andrew. I'm just trying to find it here real quick. Oh, there's still a lot of questions. Um, never mind. Maybe we'll take something else in the meantime. Oh, we got it. 
All right, so Martin, for you on PowerPoint, if after a poll has been clicked through with all the results and you go back to it, does that still keep the data? Yep, everything's stored in your account in the backend. So you can go to it anytime you want. So it's not gonna go away. So everything's saved. So no worries. Thanks, Andrew. Awesome, thanks. And let's take the last question. Uh, Brett, the most uploaded one. I normally create a Teams meeting directly in Outlook. Can you add the slider integration there or does the event need creating a Teams itself, Martin? Yeah, that's a really good question. You can create your event or your meeting directly in Outlook. Um, you just need to click on this um, Microsoft Teams meeting um, link, which takes you to Teams. And from there, you can do what I showed you. So it's, I guess, one or two extra clicks, um, but definitely supporting Outlook as well. Awesome. Um, I think we'll leave it there with questions. I know there's still 200 there. So thank you so much for, uh, for sending all those. We'll, we'll, of course, go through that and, and share any more resources. Like I'm seeing a few sort of requests for videos or recordings for the integrations and how-to videos. Uh, a lot of those are available on our YouTube channel. So definitely dig into that. Uh, and thanks to the team um, for, for answering these questions. Now, before we wrap up, um, I want to thank you, um, right? So that's, that's the almost end of today. We spent 52 minutes together. Um, and I want to thank you for joining us today. It, it means a lot, you know, it means a lot that we can share this excitement uh, with you all and, and, and connect virtually even during these weird times. We hope that today gives you a useful sense for where we'll be heading. But also, as I mentioned, this is uh, at the beginning, we want to get your candid feedback on what is it that we could be doing better uh, so that we improve. So uh, before we leave, uh, please spend the next few moments uh, before logging off answering this short survey. We would just love to hear from you how you found the event, whether there was something you were missing or something you'd love, love, like us to do next time. And um, again, thank you. And um, hopefully you will enjoy the rest of your morning, day or evening, wherever you are. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>